Glenn, 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 Glenn. Has this been in the, has this been soaking long enough? No, so this is Christmas cake or fruit cake, depending on your point of view. Um, Looks good. It does. I'm, I'm. <laughs> are you sure it's, are you sure you've soaked it long enough? I haven't. So, a lot of people have a lot of theories about how to make fruit cake. Uh, some start in January for the following Christmas. Um, and some people really want it to sit for a long time. I, as soon as it comes out of the oven. I know, you're willing to I'm eat it. I'm ready to go. I feel like it could do with a little more, a little more brandy. Mm-hmm. This is a, a tradition in, uh, sorry. This is a tradition for us. Mm -hmm. It's also a tradition in my family. We eat, uh, each of my aunts and uncles make different kinds and then switch and share. I really like this dark one. Um, so I make this at the end of October, beginning of November, and it generally doesn't make it to it never Christmas. Makes it. never makes it to Christmas Day. So here's how I made it. You start out by mixing up the dried fruit, and that's candied pineapple, candied cherries, Raisins, currants, candied peel, and then you pour in some brandy. and you give that a stir. Some people let that sit for weeks or months. Um, usually I let it sit for a couple of days or sometimes I'll do this on a Sunday and then the following Saturday, I'll move on to making the cake. And the cake is pretty straightforward. In a big bowl, I mix together flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, allspice, cloves, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And then in another bowl, I cream together butter and brown sugar. Then I mixed in molasses. and some of our homemade strawberry jam. And then I whipped in five eggs. And then I stirred in the flour mixture. Once the flour mixture was stirred in, I poured in the fruit that had been soaking in the brandy. and then some chopped walnuts. Uh, you could use pecans or pecans if you wanted to. Once that was all mixed together, put that into a baking pan lined with parchment paper. It's also greased and I stuck that in the oven.
Once it comes out of the oven, you let it cool down until it's fully cooled. Take a piece of cheesecloth and you soak that in the brandy. Then you wrap the cake in the cheesecloth and then you wrap it in plastic wrap. And you stick that in the fridge for as long as you can. And that's pretty much it. So um, a couple of times during this period, we'll add a little that's bit of extra brandy uh, as we wrap it. You rewrap it and you rewrap it and you keep it in the fridge. This will, you know, keep in the fridge or the freezer for oh, years. Yeah, it is one of the things about it. Yeah, it'll it'll keep for a very long time um, if you can keep from eating it. And a lot of people have pretty harsh opinions about well, fruitcake. It's very rich. And where you can eat many, many pieces, I can eat a small piece and then I'm yep. done. Yeah. I think part of it is that uh, people just take a big piece like it's cake cake. It's and it's and not. It's, it's overwhelming. It's really That's my theory. It's really dense and rich and um, could be wrong. You could also use rum. Mm -hmm. you, you don't need to use brandy. Uh, dark rum works really well at all points. Um, and you can mix up any fruit that you want. Uh, as I was making this, I was thinking, you know, if I like mango, you could put dried mango in it. Well, I know, my mom puts uh, coconut in hers, which you're not that fond yeah, of, Yeah, so. coconut's not for me. But if that's what you like in it, I mean, it's very versatile. You can make a lot of changes to this. So, um, tell us what you think about fruitcake. <laughs> you opened a I, big door there. Please do, because I, I, <laughs> I want to know why people don't like it. What was your bad experience with it that you don't like fruitcake? Uh, thanks for stopping by. Give this a try. You've still got time to make it before right. Christmas. I'll put it back in the fridge. I'll put the brandy away.